Welcome back home. What's up guys, Louis Duran here again. I am back from G-Fest 26. Yeah, I'm back. And that was the best week of my entire life. Goodness gracious, man. G-Fest 25, as many of you know, wasn't the best for me. It wasn't the best G-Fest I've ever attended to. It was good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't the best. It didn't feel like G-Fest 24. It, personally, for me, it wasn't the best. Thankfully, G-Fest 26 was a thousand times better than G-Fest 25, man. The amount of people I met this year was incredible. Thank you guys so much for making G-Fest 26 one of the the best G-Fest I've ever attended to. Man, you guys are awesome, dude. I, I want to give you guys all a group hug right now. I miss you guys so much. I miss all the people coming up to me. And guys, you, may, you guys may think that I have fans who are kids, but... I have fans who are adults too. There were so many adults that actually came up to me this year. There was a few moms who came up to me, a few dads who came up to me, a few uncles and grandmothers. Man, you guys are incredible. I just, oh, uh, next year, next year we gotta get a fan group photo. That would be a blessing. And also, welcome to the family, to Mr. Godzilla Kaiju, Kamata Bro, and Connor. Welcome to G Hustle, man. You guys are freaking hilarious and welcome to the g hustle guys i hope you guys have fun with us you guys will have fun with us i know you guys will ah i miss g fest so much guys i came back home last night i was you know i was settling my figures down on the bed looking at my hall and i was expecting goji franklin and goodzilla and super godzilla 1974 to be up here because they were here at my house last week tuesday until thursday and i was expecting them up here but they weren't and i was kind of lonely and it made me a little upset ah, i miss g fest already i miss all my friends ah all right this is my g fest 26 haul tuesday of the g fest week i messaged my comic book store when goji franklin and godzilla and super godzilla 974 were on their way to my house and i texted them saying hey guys you guys got any neca rodans in from neca and they said, yep, we got a full case in. Boom. I got the NECA Rodan 2019 figure. There's the box. And here's the Rodan. God, look at this, man. It's translucent and everything. It's so freaking epic, I think. God, it's so epic. I love how the wingsmen just flap out like this. It's really incredible. I absolutely love it. Here is the stand. I only wish that this came with a light up. But it was definitely worth the $26, so... There's the Rodan, guys. Um, now on to the actual things I got at G-Fest. First things first, boom. The G-Fest XXVI name tag, Louis Duran. There's G-Fest, G-Fantis. Of course, you always get a G-Fest XXVI pamphlet. There it is, G-Fantis, G-Fantis Revenge. Um, so yeah, this thing's always cool to get. There's the inside. Fan art. Let's show off the fan art, shall we? Penzilla 04's arts um, of Rise Goji. Rise Goji. This is based off the CGI model that me and Jaws Man made. I think it looks really nice. Holy crap, it looks really cool. So there is that. Really appreciative of that. Thank you so much. I believe this is King Gorgira's 679's art um, because I fortunately I didn't get to see her until the last day which was really unfortunate um, because of how busy and fun the convention was I believe it's an earth style of rise goji earth godzilla style I think it is because earth godzilla normally has a pupil but this one doesn't so that is really really cool thank you so much for this I love it it looks really really cool panda for u2c studios a derp rise goji <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. Look at that arm. What is going on with that arm? I love it. Oh god, look at that tail, dude. I love the tongue sticking out. Really cool. Thanks, dude. Uh, uh, this is from my boy, GojiFan417. Tatanus <laughs> Duranus. Out Monarch Outpost 69. Oh my god. Look at that. That's Rise Goji and my face on it. Shooting out purple milk, I suppose. Have a great G-Fest, of course, dude. Hope you had fun. This is from my boy, Muto the Official. Really appreciative of this art. This guy literally did this art in like 10, maybe 12 minutes. And I thought it was freaking epic. Look at that. That's Rise Goji right there. I really love it. I love the dorsal plates and check out the face. Since the design is based off mostly off the 1998 creature Godzilla, um, look at the face. He literally un unintentionally made the face look like Godzilla 1998, which was awesome. This is from Gorgira Fan 2004 on Instagram. Boom. 
check this out rise goji redesign of rise goji really really cool so really cool dude really love this art check it this out godzilla rise for destruction with his beer belly <laughs> i thought it was pretty pretty cool dude look at that three pieces of art from goji fan 16 look at that godzilla rise for destruction fan art there's rise goji and there's zilchardon up there check out this other art he did look at that rise goji zilchardon look at that man that's insanely cool. I love this. Holy crap. And you know who you are when you see this. We got the Godzilla gang. We got the Godzilla gang fan art here. Here's Shin Godzilla. We got fake Godzilla back there by Alante and King Ghidorah. Nice colors you put into it. I love Shin Godzilla. Look at that. You know who you are when you see this. Check this out. Look at that rise, Goji. He looks so fierce. He actually looks like an alligator, and he actually looks like Godzilla 1998, which is really sick. Love that about you guys, that you guys actually care about the character I made. Boom. Look at that. Rise Goji with purple milk in his hand. Same goes for his get Rise Goji's son. A Zeltrodon head? I think that's a Zeltrodon head. I'm not too sure what this is. <laughs> Look at that. Look at him drinking the purple milk. That's freaking epic. <laughs> Whalezilla's drawing. Oh yeah, this is epic. Take a look at this. And then look at this. Isn't that spot on? That's me holding the drawing he gave me last year. Awesome. And then check out the poster. Yeah, he's got my room spot on. That's insane. Good job on this one, Whalezilla. You did really freaking good on that. Guys, that was all the fan art that I got. Um, I guess we'll go on to a little few extra things I got from the convention. Welcome to G-Fest 2019. Radioactive Toys Flyer. Summit Kaiju sticker. This is my second one. So we got a G Fantas flyer showing off a few figures in the YMSF prototype of G Fantas. I'm not sure where this came from, but I think this came from our friend group, Godzilla 2000 sticker. These were all over Joey in the convention. We would always sneak them on his back. So if you guys saw Joey and you saw a bunch of these stickers, you know why. We got a Chibi Go Goji Toys flyer showing some Kusa Fubis. Oh, that's 64. Oh man, I want the 64 now, crap. We got some Chibi Goji Toy Girl stickers. And I'm not sure what this stupid thing is. Uh, that kind of legends if you're watching, dude. Your films are pretty bad. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Stone Fighter Season 3. Um, they work so hard on their films. You guys will get somewhere. I know you guys will. Good job on this, guys. Oh, we got some nice kaiju sketches. If you guys do know who kaiju sketches is on Instagram, this is him. Look at this Godzilla. This Godzilla is so epic, dude. It's Godzilla 64 mixed in with Heisei. And I love this one. This bear gun surrounded by beautiful colors. It's giving me a spring vibe. So this would be a good thing to post during the spring. I'm over here stuttering. Scout underscore trooper 29. Boom. Look at this. He gave this to me. His work is incredible. Um, his Instagram is, you know, scout underscore trooper 29. That's Ant-Man. <laughs> oh my God. Godzilla versus Ant-Man uh, work. This is insane, guys. If you guys recognize this, you guys know who he is. His art is incredible. Go follow him on Instagram, scout underscore trooper 29. His art is insane. Good job on that, dude. All right. And I think this is the last bit of extra things we got. Boom. Godzilla 1984 sticker. A fan named Danielle gave me this. Really, really cool. His friend Robert makes these, which I think is pretty sick, dude. Man, imagine if we got Rise Goji stickers. That would be awesome. So yeah, he's feeding off the radiation of that uh, power plant. So that's really sick. All right, guys. Time for the fan-made models. <laughs> fan-made models. You guys thought I was going to get to the figures, right? Well, I got fan-made models this year, guys. I got some playset, two playsets, two fan-made playsets. But first thing I'll show off is this guy. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at that. This was made by Godzilla underscore 154 on Instagram. He literally destroys his own toys just to make articulated figures just like, such as this one. Look at that. This figure is awesome. I love figures like this, man. This is insane. This is one of my favorite things anyone's ever given me. It's a articulated, fan-made Rise Goji. Oh my God, it's so much better than the actual Rise Goji. I'm so appreciative of this. This is amazing, dude. Thank you so much. Man, I can't wait to take photos of that and use it in future films. Also comes with his own atomic breath piece. How awesome is that? The next thing I'm gonna show off is from Ultimate Godzilla. He made his own playset just for me. Look at this, he made some buildings. He made another building here. Look at that. And he made an actual Rise Goji. 
Look at that. Isn't this cool? He made a rise goji for me. There's that. And then he also made an atomic breath version. Look at that. It came with his own atomic breath and everything. This is where I can display him. Right there. That's what he made this for. Atomic breath rise goji, dude. Oh my god. I love this so much. The next place that I got is from Super Saiyan Goji. Check out this boat. Uh, I might use in future projects. Check out this destroyed building. And then check out these destroyed buildings and a house. And then check out this. Look at this. Look at that. That is a cool rise goji right there. Look, at, this is like a chibi rise goji. I love it so much. He gave it to me in a box and it was all wrapped up so nice. And I kind of unwrapped the Ziltrodon. That's when I stopped unwrapping it because, wait, I should open all this when I get home so I don't break anything. Got a Ziltrodon from him which is awesome but the arm broke off and i was like no oh man but that's okay it still looks pretty epic don't know where the arm went either so that's pretty disappointing but it's still epic dude no worries don't it's fine oh my god look at that that's an awesome zosuron right there also he gave me uh some extra helicopters and airplanes from the pack of destruction set so you guys ready for the figures first figure i got from gfest 26 was actually from a fan a little mini hedora which i think is really really nice what brand is this though is this this isn't custom made is it but a nice nice fan gave me this hedora which i thought was pretty cool so thank you dude you know who you are all right and then this right here is from deadzilla i'm probably gonna have to pick the camera up for this one look at that a godzilla 1998 puppet $20 from Deadzilla. Thank you so much, dude. He knows how much I love Godzilla 1998, so he was actually saving this for me, and I bought it Tuesday of the week of G-Fest. He comes with his own stand and everything. Look at this, dude. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's so freaking good. I love this puppet so much. I actually might use this for future projects. Thank you so much, Deadzilla. I really appreciate this. Man. Alright guys, now it's on to the figures. First things first, this was a must, especially for me and my friends. This was definitely a must. Alright, this was a must. I got the M1 GFS exclusive GRAS. Look at this. This is a glow-in-the-dark GFS exclusive M1 GRAS, which I think is incredible. Look at the colors. The colors are so nice, dude. $70. It came with this card with a picture of g and Ultraman and it was signed by g and Ultraman. How epic is that, dude? There was only a few of these in the dealer's room. There was only 80 of them, I think, or six, 60 to 80 of them, and they're only $70. There was a line forming and luckily, me and my friends were the like first 30 to 40 people in line and we ran into that M1 table so fast, you don't even know. But this was the easiest $70 we've ever spent. The figure glows in the dark perfectly. God, man, this figure, I can't, mmm. Mm, it's so good, dude. Let's, uh, let's put this back here, right there. Here we got the Bandai Mothra 1964. And this is definitely the 60s Mothra. I got this at Showcase Dai Kaiju for $60, which is an amazing price. Man, this is a, mm, I love this figure. I took it out of the box already and checked it out. And it's so nice, dude. It's so beautiful. Translucent wings. The wings are plastic. And I love the body. It's just fuzzy and it's a soft, like vinyl kind of. It's, so got that at Showcase Dai Kaiju for $60. We got the Bandai. Kitakawa Godzilla uses the 1995 sculpt. Um, it's an amazing piece. I love the glor uh, the orange colors we got going on here. I love the glitter inside. It's injected. It's not like the glitter Godzilla I got last year. These were only limited to a thousand, I believe. And I got this for two hundred dollars at at the table. And I had to get it signed. Had to get it signed. You already know who she is, man. Do I need to explain myself? Um, a lot of my friends got it last year, but unfortunately, me and Goji Franklin, King Goji Fan 2002, we kind of missed out on it. So we this year, we got to actually pick one up for $200, which is, I think was a freaking good price. Here's the third thing that I got in the dealer's room, a Bandai 8-inch vintage Space Godzilla. Mint with tag. I don't need any other Bandai Space Godzilla at this point. This will do. This is really good. I love the colors on it. The tag is so mint, dude. Look at that tag. Came with his own tag protector. I think it was worth $85, considering it comes with this tag protector and it's mint condition. Clawmar Toys, I believe. I think it was Clawmar Toys. $85, which I thought it was a pretty good deal. I was going with so much money this year, I just didn't know what to buy, guys. Um, Day two, I got from Vampire Robots this <laughs> Kush Godzilla 1998 ball, which I, I was looking at it last night. 
and this thing is freaking epic to be honest this was actually worth 10 bucks considering it comes with a freaking tag thanks mike for letting me buy that off you this right here was an awesome gift it was from godzilla underscore 154 he did not have to do this man you did not have to do this man but this was one of his pieces a bandai movie monster series customs painted space godzilla look at that that's awesome the paint job on this is spectacular and my friend nathan miller films actually thought it was a real bandai figure good job on this man i i thought it was really really cool um you did not have to do this man but thank you so much for it i thought it was freaking awesome next buy i got from chibi goji toys and it was definitely worth 100 bucks boom got a marmot howler burning godzilla for any other marmot burning godzilla uh, this will do right here. This is a freaking epic model, dude. Look at that. Love the dorsal plates. I love how they're yellow. God, this is really worth a hundred bucks. So there's that. Got it for a hundred dollars at uh, Chibi Goji Toys. Um, and this right here is a story. For a few months now, I've been wanting a Marmot CCP Godzilla 1994 because on eBay I found one for $90 and I was gonna pull the trigger but boom someone else bought it right away and I was kind of upset about that because I was like mm, I've been wanting that figure for a while too I've been wanting this figure for I think over two years a little over two years yeah and then like you know g Fist week comes around I told Joey Thursday I was like dude I have to get this figure and Joey knowing how I wanted this so bad he actually bought it at Chibi Goji Toys for 150 Brand new with the header card and everything. And I was so upset. I was like, I was getting a little hyped too because I, I knew he was going to do something like that to me. He, since he's a good friend and since he knew how much I wanted it, he let me buy it off of him. Again, for the same price. Here it is. The Marmot CCP Godzilla 1994. Isn't this freaking epic? I love the paint job on this. Look at those dorsal plates, dude. This looks so nice. And then uh, a little bit after he sold it to me, he was kind of regretting um, selling it to me. But dude, I'm sorry. I love you, dude. You're, you're such a good friend for letting me buy this off you. That really makes me happy, man. Thank you so much, Joey. Don't worry. I, I'm From here on out, I try to help you look for one again. Ah, uh, it's so freaking epic, dude. We're going to put this back here, covering the Mothra a little bit. Yeah, here's the header card. If you guys don't believe me, here's the header card for... 1994 Godzilla. The next figure I bought was the Shin Godzilla statue in Japan. As a figure, yeah, the Bandai Movie Monster series Shin Godzilla statue. This figure is freaking epic. It can definitely be a Shin Godzilla figure. Look at this awesome pose, man. That is insane. I love this. I love this way more than the Bandai Movie Monster series figure that we got a few years ago for the Shin Godzilla release. This figure is epic. I'm never taking the tag off this. This is something I cannot take the tag off. Oh, I got it for $50 at Showcase Daikaiju, which I thought it was a really good price. Got this at Monstrosity's Table for $100. Yep, a big boy, I tell you. I got the Bandai Vintage Godzilla 1991. Dude, oh, and I love the way the dorsal plates feel. The dorsal plates feel freaking nice, dude. Oh my god. Holy crap. Definitely gonna take some awesome pictures of that. Put them back here where you guys can probably see them, right? I didn't, you, you guys may think $100 is a ripoff, but I mean, I got it with the box, so I don't think that was a ripoff at all. Let, let's just put that box there. Oh, and you know, I saw this figure at Clawmart toys i think it was Clawmart. i'm maybe getting that wrong but it was david's table and i definitely had to pull the trigger on this this was the cheapest price i saw for this figure at g fest and it is the bandai monster king series shin godzilla got it for 45 dollars no hesitation i just bought it here he is got him at g fest for 45 dollars i thought it was a really really good price ymsf Godzilla 1967. I got this along with the Minya, which is, I think was really awesome. Look at how cute that is. You can put them on the tail. There we go. Got both of them at, at uh, Tempting Toys for $65, which I thought was a really good price for two YMSF figures. And the sculpt and the details on these figures are amazing. I love the paint job on the 67. This 67 Godzilla will do for now. Um, I might get the Bandai at some point. That's if I find them for a good price. But these, th this figure would do for now. We're going to put them right here. There we go. All right, then I got this figure at Showcase Daikaiju the last day for $10, which I thought I was just like, got to do it. And so I got the Bandai. Showa Mothra and Larva, the Showa Mothra Larva for $10. There we go. This is a big boy. Yep, I told you it was gonna be a big boy. Let me just put the camera back. I got the Wonderfest exclusive Gigabrain Hedora. He's freaking amazing. Got him at Showcase Die Kaiju, $323. It was originally $350. Um, he sold it to me for $320, which I thought was a fantastic deal. This figure is glow in the dark as well. It's a Wonderfest exclusive. I got Hazawa Gumi Godzilla. 1954 signed by akira takarada 
look at this. Look at this. Isn't this freaking amazing? Dude, look at this. It was signed by Kiritak Arata. And I definitely had to get this signed. This figure's also epic, dude. God, look at the sculpt on this figure. This is probably my best Godzilla 1954 in my collection. $30 was definitely worth getting something signed and talking and meeting Akira Takarada. That was all worth it. $30 just for a ticket. But this figure was $90, which is I definitely want to get more Gumi figures. These are freaking epic. I want to get a Godzilla Final Wars Gumi. There. We got two more figures, guys. We got two more figures. Alright, the next figure I got. This <laughs> This isn't mine. This is actually Godzilla's. Godzilla didn't have enough room to put it in his bag. He's just trying to sell this figure, but no one bought it, unfortunately. I'll have fun playing with this for the rest of the year. All right, guys, the last figure. This figure I've been wanting for a month. Ever since I went to Godzilla's house and I've been playing with this figure at his house, I just had to get it. The Bandai 8-inch Mothra 1992. It was originally $150, and John at the table was just like, Look, man, I'll give it to you for 125 right now. The reason why it was so expensive, it's because it's never been opened. That's why. And I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. So I'm basically getting it brand new with everything inside. The stand, the legs, and everything. Man, this figure's epic, dude. Oh, my God. Let's take a look at the back. Comes with the stand and everything. $125 was definitely worth the freaking the freaking price. Oh, wow. How silly of me. How can I forget this? Got a pin from Unite Godzilla fans on Instagram. Please go give him a follow. He's a freaking epic dude dude that was so awesome dude that was a really good moment all right guys that is my entire g fest 26 haul i hope you guys had an amazing time at g fest this year i certainly did with a bunch of my friends bunch of fans look at that haul oh my goodness all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this remember to subscribe like and all that good stuff and i hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching